Italy elects, at the national level, a parliament consisting of two houses, the Chamber of Deputies with 630 members, and the Senate of the Republic with 315 elected members, plus a few senators for life. The President of the Republic is elected for a seven-year term by the two houses of parliament in joint session. Italy has historically had many political parties, both national and regional, with different party systems. The most recent Italian general election was held on 4 March 2018. 2018 election The general election was held on 4 March 2018. The centre-right alliance, in which Matteo Salvini's League emerged as the main political force, won a plurality of seats in the Chamber of Deputies and in the Senate of the Republic. The anti-establishment five-star movement led by Luigi Di Maio became the party with the largest number of votes, and the centre-left coalition, led by former Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, came third. However, no political group or party won an outright majority, resulting in a hung parliament. After three months of negotiation, a coalition was finally formed on 1 June between the M5S and the League, whose leaders both became deputy prime ministers in a government led by the M5S-linked independent Giuseppe Conte as prime minister. Chamber of Deputies Senate of the Republic Voter turnout According to an article written in Bloomberg News, voters are tired of the candidates, that is why voter turnout has been drastically reduced since the 1970s, along with the fact that there is no longer a compulsory voting system. The voter turnout in 2013 explains how the people of Italy really feel about the instability of their government. <laughs> Graph of general election results This graph shows the results of elections held in Italy from 1946 to today, with the percentages of consensus gathered by the various parties and movements displayed by color. Passing your mouse over the different colored sections will display the name of the grouping and the percentage in the corresponding election. Clicking on a region will direct you to the article on the party or election selected. <laughs> Past elections and referendums Presidential appointment Referendums The Constitution of Italy provides for two kinds of binding referendums. A legislative referendum can be called in order to abrogate a law totally or partially, if requested by 500,000 electors or five regional councils. This kind of referendum is valid only if at least a majority of electors goes to the polling station. It is forbidden to call a referendum regarding financial laws or laws relating to pardons or the ratification of international treaties. A constitutional referendum can be called in order to approve a constitutional law or amendment only when it has been approved by the Houses Chamber of Deputies and Senate of the Republic with a majority of less than two-thirds in both or either House, and only at the request of one-fifth of the members of either House, or 500,000 electors or five regional councils. A constitutional referendum is valid no matter how many electors go to the polling station. Any citizen entitled to vote in an election to the Chamber of Deputies may participate in a referendum. See also Electoral calendar Italian electoral law of 2017 for the Parliament of Italy Primary elections in Italy References External links Adam Carr's Election Archive Parties and Elections Ministry of Internal Affairs of Italy, page on elections NSD, European Election Database, Italy publishes regional level election data Italy Election Data, European Journal of Political Research Political Data Yearbook, Interactive